Hi, yeah. Um, I'm going to try and do a really quick makeup this morning and not take much longer than five minutes. So I'm going to start with a little bit of gel lotion. Um, everything I'm using this morning will be from It Cosmetics because I'm going to do some It videos today. Um, I was talking about moisturiser yesterday and just saying that I really like a gel texture for this time of year because my skin feels a bit more dry and in turn that can impact how long your foundation will last for um, but you don't want anything too heavy that will mean that your foundation kind of peels away so a gel is really great if you want to strike the balance between feeling hydrated and not um, feeling too heavy. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of CC cream today. This is the illuminating version. And essentially it was, um, I can't remember the name now. Someone said to me yesterday, could you please do a five minute look? And I thought to myself, do you know what? For the last God knows how long, I've been harping on at you for 15 minutes every day. But actually not everyone has 15 minutes. And also I think you can do a really great job in five minutes so um, that is what I'm going to set out to do. I'm already on a minute and a half. Listen, let's be honest, I probably will go over five minutes. But I'll hopefully give you a gist of what is likely to be achievable. So if you're going for a really quick makeup, that skincare step is really crucial because what I would say is getting your skincare on before your makeup is in the long run going to help everything to last for the rest of the day. So even though if you've only got five minutes, you might be thinking, why am I going to waste it on a step that you can't even see? I promise you the fruits of your labour will be rewarded as the day goes on and your makeup is still in place. Um, I'm going to do a super quick eyebrow and I'm actually going to go for a liner today. Possibly not the cleverest thing to do when I'm trying to do everything on a time limit, but I'm going to go for a little hint of purple, um, match up with the Cardi, but also I just love that with a slightly coloured liner, you can really brighten everything up in a way that doesn't feel too daring or... You know, maybe you're dipping a toe into a little bit of colour. It's a really great way to work it in without feeling overwhelmed. So, brushing those brows through. How are we doing? I've got two minutes to go. I'm feeling quite confident about this. Um, I always tell you this tip, David Horn's tip, finish then finesse. So what I'm going to do is seal everything in with a little bit of setting powder and a really gentle touch. I'm going to finish the rest of my complexion and then I'll do my eyes last because if I run out of time, I can just throw some mascara on. But ideally, I'm going in with this little um, three-in-one palette, I still want to get this liner on. I'm just going to take some bronzer through the temples Liven up this complexion a little bit. Down the nose, I'm going to go in with a little touch of blusher. I'm using a really soft touch for all of these steps and a little bit of highlighter. I am not going to be shy to take that right the way down the cheeks to just give a nice luminous glow. I'm also going to take a little bit of that highlighter on a smaller brush along those brow bones to make them pop. Okay, so realistically, we're four minutes in, bit of mascara and lippy, I would in theory be done. Let's just, I'm gonna extend my deadline to six minutes and see what I could achieve with a little bit of extra time. So this is a gel formula in a pencil. So you've got that lovely kind of glide that you would get. Do you know what, to be honest with you, this isn't gliding as easily as it normally would be because I've just used an oily eye makeup remover on my lids. So top tip for you. Obviously, I'm already into the process now. But what I would always advise is if you have just used an eye makeup remover, 
put something on the lids to completely um, remove any of that excess oil because that's why I'm struggling to tickle this on. So that is entirely my own fault. And I'm just gonna give those a tiny little kick out at the ends. They're not quite even, but that's okay. We haven't got all day and we're not gonna need all day. That's not feeling too bad actually. And I'm gonna go in with a load of mascara to pull it all together. A little bit of lip liner and a little bit of lip balm because do you know this time of year I just feel like I love giving my lips a bit of precision with the liner but I just want a balm on I just want everything to feel a bit more hydrated comfortable so not too bad the five minute makeup that has turned into a seven minute makeup but I feel like you saw in theory that most of it was done. Had I not faffed about, I'm going to take a little bit of a liner. I've got mascara in my curls, if you can see there. Now, a nice liner that isn't too dissimilar to my natural lip colour. And there we have full makeup. I've already got the lip balm on in seven minutes. Not too bad. But anyway, have a lovely day and I'll talk to you soon.